Okay, so we've had I've had a bit of a popular response from my pick a card readings on how your person views you. So there's been a lot of people that have actually written some beautiful comments and um, one of my videos got about 17,000 views and all the comments have been very profound and heartfelt and people have been crying so I just wanted to say thanks for those who left comments. Um, it keeps me motivated and keeps me going and you know it keeps me inspired and makes me want to be creative and create new content. So what I've actually done is make more of these handwritten cards and um, channeled some more messages for people. So I've already pre-shuffled everything and these are now in piles. So these are messages for you. Um, so we've got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, or pile number four. And the timestamps will be in the description, okay? So concentrate on the cards for a solid 30 seconds or more, depending how good you're in or sharp your intuition is. And choose your pile. Now, these could also be applied in reverse. So it could be me talking about the person you're thinking about and how they're feeling towards you. So just take those messages as they resonate, okay? So if you pick part number one, these are the messages for you. Now this card represents danger or fear. There's something better. Forgiveness. A hidden gift. The nine of hearts. Fulfillment, harmony, protection. Sacred Heart, Passion, Love, Spiritual Communion, Zen Garden, which is an 11. Follow the White Rabbit, Curiosity Meets Opportunity. Shine bright like a candle, you will make it through this. The tarot cards are the Four of Swords in reverse. We have Ace of Coins. And we have this card, number 13, which is about productivity, control, and organization. Deep knowing. Time to go. You're ready. Then we have, I have to move back, there's so many cards. <laughs> I found someone to take away the heartache. The situation will improve. Ace of Wands. Can we call a truce? White flag. I should have been more honest about my true feelings. You're an angel watching over me. Too blind to see that I was wrong. She's no you. You're my dream come true. If only I could take back those words that hurt you and you'd stay. You only know you love her when you let her go. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is this person was quite apprehensive towards you in the beginning and they were going through an ending, they were going through a breakup, which caused them to have this sense of fear um, towards love and your connection. Um, you were a dream come true to them and they were too blind to see that they were wrong to be fearful in this connection and they weren't honest about their true feelings. So the feelings for you were quite strong. There was passion, love and a spiritual communion here and they saw you as a Zen garden, a place that they could go for harmony, peace. This is at 11. Um, and the nine of hearts is here as well, which is fulfillment, harmony and protection. So they saw you as an angel watching over them, someone that was a protector and yeah and they want a new beginning with you now because in the past they know they had a deep knowing about this connection and they ignored their intuition that's what i'm getting here like they they ignored they ignored their intuition and didn't go with their 
their heart and their gut instincts because they were scared. Um, but they want your forgiveness and Spirit is confirming the situation will improve because they were just acting out of a place of fear for what they did. So um, the tarot cards indicate that this person took a long time to think about what they wanted because they were recovering from heartbreak. They were very fearful of um, getting their heart broken again. So they, they kind of ran away from you. That's what I'm getting with the time to go card. Um, they kind of did a runner. They kind of pretty much ghosted you. <laughs> Maybe not so much in terms of communication, but it's like they were here and they came in and then they were gone. Um, so it's very, very like fast in and out kind of energy is what I'm getting. And the connection was super strong and you were ready for it, but they weren't. That's what I'm getting from this. Now, this card here indicates the gathering of separate elements, people or ideas from the everyday nuances of family dynamics to the managing of a corporate team. So um, maybe you're a little bit controlling or they were controlling and it says, to be wary of over-controlling, micromanaging or getting lost in details, allow each participant to contribute fully and not to be undermined by one person's overall position. So someone in this connection, I feel like the feminine was quite controlling and it kind of it kind of caused fear in the masculine and, and the masculine like ran away um, because they were sad about the previous relationship. Maybe their previous partner used to control them a lot and they want to control in their next relationship. So they ignored their intu intuition and didn't take any action. And I think this is how they're starting to feel in the, in the present. We've got fully the white rabbit and you will make it through this. So I feel like this has really affected you and you know, you, you're quite hurt by this, but they, um, they did start seeing somebody else and they found someone to take away the heartache but they're also saying that she didn't compare to you and she is no you because you're their dream come true and they only realize they loved you once they let you go so this person does love you and we've got the sacred heart card here which confirms that as well um, and they really want your forgiveness and they're trying to shine bright amongst the chaos right now um, and you felt like they thought that there was something better because they moved on with someone else and they want your forgiveness because they realized the grass isn't greener on the other side, but somebody was just following the, following the white rabbit. Curiosity meets opportunity. So they were kind of just giving in to their urges, unfortunately, which is what happens um, sometimes with people. Um, but yeah. So that's what the messages are for pile number one. Okay, so I just wanted to <laughs> to focus on these two cards um, and give you the last message. I had to stop the reading because I ordered Uber Eats and it had arrived. Full disclosure, but it is the best <laughs> on a Sunday when you don't feel like cooking. Okay, so we have um, shine bright like a candle. This card signifies your divine light is strong. You are radiant. You have endurance, resilience, and you're making it through a trying time. This is a, a, a reminder to be hopeful for the future. And if you're wondering about life and death and contemplating the purpose of your existence, you do have connections to the afterlife and you will make it through this. So Spirit is saying, stay strong. Then we have follow the white rabbit. A wondrous opportunity is going to break through your ordinary reality and give you the chance to change your world and your perception forever. So that's confirmation the situation will improve. It's obviously been a really hard time for you, but this person has thought about it and have contemplated everything and they want a new beginning. And they have a deep inner knowing that you're the one. And it's hard for you because you're ready and they made you feel... They made you feel like you weren't good enough, in a sense, because they went after something better. But they're saying, I should have been more honest about my true feelings. They see you as an angel, 
and they were just too blind to see that they were wrong but she is no you and you're their dream come true it just took them a while to realize that unfortunately they had to learn their lessons and it says if only I could take back those words that hurt you and you'd stay and you only know you love her when you let her go so this person will come back um, they just need to get over their previous relationship and sadness and the ending um, and then they'll come forward because they want a new beginning and we've got three cards that clarify a new beginning we have a new beginning and then we have ace of pentacles which is a new beginning in the material world and then we have ace of wands which is a passionate creative new beginning so they've definitely um healed and they're thinking about coming forward and offering you this new beginning and they're ready and so are you and they have a deep inner knowing and they should have listened to it but they've learnt lessons now and they will follow their intuition in the future and they're going to come and ask you for their forgiveness, for your forgiveness, okay? If you chose part number two, these messages are for you. First card indicates farewells, goodbyes, communication of a goodbye. And we have timing and this is an eight infinity number it's like divine timing the clock is ticking someone has been waiting for something to happen and it's like they've walked away someone um hasn't been in a balanced relationship someone's been giving too much to somebody else and the other person was taking the other person's creating building blocks right now trying to live in the here and now to the sea the fates and imagine that we have don't stop, big happy changes, moonlight, trouble, romance, potential, intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart, find the lesson, you can't go back to yesterday, be in the present, impossible things. Working through disbelief, imaginative leaps, and a fresh perspective. In the tarot cards, we have temperance. Queen of cups in reverse. Seven of pentacles. I was just projecting all my own issues onto you out of fear. Heavy. Let's start fresh. Okay, what I'm getting from this is, all right, so what I'm getting from this combination of cards is this is a feminine energy and this is how she views her masculine. She has walked away from the situation because he didn't put in the effort and give her a leg up. She was wanting equal give and take in a relationship and she was waiting and waiting and waiting for him to just give her a leg up so she's not hanging on and um, forcing herself up in a situation and pushing herself up and pushing herself up and giving and giving and giving. But this person didn't put in the building blocks to create a new beginning because they were living in the here and now and they were just letting everything go to the sea. And they were just one of those, like, free spirits that's just like, eh, if, it, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Um, it's going to, you know, but the feminine, um, she believes in destiny and also law of attraction. And she's been trying to manifest um, this new beginning because she ultimately walked away because this person took too long. So she decided to leave it into divine timing. And she's not stopping. She's um she's working on herself. She decided she's not waiting around because this person was just projecting all their own issues onto her out of fear. She is trying to manifest a new beginning. She does want to start fresh with you. Um, but they she's also saying we can't go back to how things were. We can't go back to yesterday and this situation needs a lot of healing because you weren't listening to your intuition and because you weren't following your intuition, you um, you did the wrong thing in this situation is what I'm getting. 
and you kept projecting all your own issues onto her and you didn't listen to her. So she didn't wait around for you and she's cut off, she's pretty much cut off all con contact and communication with you and she's quite cold and distant and the situation needs to gain balance again. Um, but she's not going to stop. She's moving forward because she's manifesting big happy changes in her life. Um, but she's still got some sort of intuitive communication with you. And the Moonlight card is here, which is about travel, romance, and potential. Um, and silence, silent whispers of the heart. And we've got the Impossible Things card as well, which is interesting. So it's like, yes, this person has walked away from you, but there is still hope for the future. Now I'm going to talk about these two cards here. It says farewells, goodbyes, and closure. Forever and ever, forever, farewell, Cassius. If we do not meet again... Why we shall smile, if not when this, when this, oh, why then this parting was well made. So it says, our lives are a constant flow of farewells to people, places, and things, some with regret, but some with enthusiasm as they are replaced with new options. So this person has walked away from you and she's got, found herself in a situation where she has plenty of new options. And then we have this card which is about pretty much about divine timing and life it says time is a figure eight as it is the cent center city of deja vu time the ultimate thief gradually takes from us and never gives back and time is a commodity that is never really ours but merely something we have use for uh, for a given period the only way to ensure the balance in our favor is for us to use the allotted time fully before it is taken from us live every day hour and minute to its fullest so you didn't, um, you didn't seize the moment in this situation and this person walked away because they were sick and tired of waiting. And um, basically, they just decided to leave it to divine timing, timing and the universe because you weren't putting equal effort into this situation. Um, and then we have impossible things and you can't go back to yesterday. So the impossible thing card is about a struggle to accept what seems unlikely. Devote regular time to improving a situation, becoming better at something you care about or changing something for the better. Meditate on a miracle and believe in impossible things. So um, they've left it up to the universe and they've been imagining that you'll have some sort of miraculous epiphany and you'll come back to them and you'll find the lesson. But they've decided you can't go back to yesterday. You have to be in the present and live in the here and now like this card suggests and you can imagine a better future but until someone learns their lessons you can't learn their lessons for them there's no point waiting around and hoping and not living your life so um basically this card indicates that you are more than your past you have evolved and changed sharing your history is only to share who you once were you're no longer the same person so this person um, learn a lot of lessons from your connection. They realize their worth. And in finding the lesson, it was about upheaval, quarrelsome people, disputes, antagonism, and confusion. Uncertainty about the purpose of a situation and feeling frustrated and ready to complain. Let it go to the universe and ask the universe for clarity and trust that time will bring an understanding of the lessons this uncomfortable adventure is teaching you. So... This person is still wondering what the whole point of this connection was and if anything will come back together. They still have hope for the future and they have hope that there'll be big happy changes. And these um, cards indicate there will be. This person will um, be f destined and fated to, to come back into your life. Um, but they still have some sort of a telepathic connection with you and they're a very powerful person. They can manifest so... Um, the universe is going to support them in their endeavors and I feel that the serendipity will bring the two of you guys back together and you'll have a fresh new start and they're apologizing and saying they were project projecting their issues onto you out of fear as well as them feeling like you were doing the same for them so time apart was the best option for the two of you and just to let it all go to the universe to the sea to fate and see what happens. But there's definitely a strong connection here is what I'm getting. This person did really feel for you, all right? Because we did have the travel romance potential card and they definitely felt this connection. 
telepathic intuitive connection and romance all right all right if you chose pile number three these are the messages for you we have <clears throat> manipulation control we have time and progress we have peace we have exchanging gifts which is an equal give and take blessed it's a blessed connection a divine connection a sacred union poised a year from now perfect timing listen to your intuition tree of life fertility creativity destiny magical blessings rising above clarity freedom solution all in a golden afternoon inspiration creative spark imagination conception forget who you are conditioning falls away memory no longer defines you we have the devil in reverse we have Ace of Cups, which is about new love. We have the Magician, which is about manifesting and creating, co-creating. <clears throat> I know I made you cry, but baby, if I could turn back time. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. I want you to know you're the part of me I can't let go. All right, so... What I'm getting from this is that there's a person here who was very stuck in, much stuck in ego. Um, they were very controlling and almost a puppet master, a bit of a manipulator. And they were stuck in the lower vibrations with this devil energy. And they're also a magician. So they're very... Um, and they're a very magical, mystical person that um, likes to just roll the dice and take a gamble in life. Um, they also <clears throat> hold back their feelings and keep rather poi poised. And they don't give a lot to a relationship. They're more of a taker. And it wasn't an equal exchange in this particular relationship um, because they knew they had you wrapped around their finger. This is what this Puppet Master card is about. And they're a bit of a magician, so they know their thoughts create their reality. So they were very deceiving in this, in this connection. And they had a lot of other suitors, so they didn't really treat you the best way possible and they're very sorry about that okay um so they're trying to transform from who they are and they're forgetting who they are and they no longer want to be that person because they're trying to rise above what happened in the past now this is an 11 card so it's about harmony unity um they're trying to listen to their intuition um and a year from now there's going to be divine timing and something's going to happen in terms of fertility creativity destiny and magical blessings and then we have inspiration creative spark imagination conception so it's like a year from now we're probably going to be conceiving a child is what i'm getting from um this particular card because this card also represents creation that's about creation as well and <clears throat> yeah this is um fertility and conception so it's about creating something together so I feel like this connection is a very powerful connection yes there has been some ups and downs some highs and lows this person and you are destined to co-create and come back together to rise above all that's happened um, and a year from now you're meant to have children together is what I'm getting so um, it's right now this connection is about being the best version of yourself and loving yourself and not giving in to these manipulative situations and learning to come back together as the best versions of you to co-create something um, and there's going to be a new beginning with this person because 
they're in love with you with the Ace of Cups. So they're trying to manifest this new love with you at the moment and they're trying to come out of this devil energy and the lower vibrations and they're starting to get away from being the puppet master. But they're going to be more in their magician kind of alchemist type energy <clears throat> so that they can have peace with you because they know this is a blessed connection and they know it's only a matter of divine timing with this perfect timing card and they're going to rise above all the things that <clears throat> happened in the past and forget who they used to be to be a better version of themselves for you. That's what I'm getting. Now we have all in the golden afternoon. So it says time to create an imaginative idea. Inspiration takes hold, talent and ability. The muse touches down in your life. Get ready. So that's pretty... Um, that's pretty exciting. It means that someone really creative is about to come into your life. So you need to just get ready because this person's coming back. And a year from now, you guys will have probably have conceived something together. Now we've got forget who you are. You are discovering what can happen when you rely less on conditioning, memory and civilization and more on heart, receptivity and nature. New friendships, connections, gentleness and joy will be yours. So basically forget what you've been taught to believe this person's coming back and in a year from now you guys are going to have fertility creativity destiny and magical blessings in your life which is amazing um the tree of life card is like the ten of pentacles card in this deck and it's number one so it's about um you know taking a leap of faith i think it's um a magical tree and it's symbolic of life's journey. So it's about having matured and grown strong through the changing seasons of cycles of life. So you and this person have now reached a stage of creative abundance. And in a year from now, your roots will firmly be planted the fertile soil of your dreams and imagination. You are now ready to fulfill your destiny. And a new creative cycle will begin. One infused with your love and all the wisdom that you have gained through your life to date. The struggle is over. From now on, you will achieve greater results than ever before. And you will do this with grace, poise, <laughs> and ease. All your past experiences and all the knowledge that you have gained and all your previous work now all come together to serve a higher, more heartfelt purpose, which is why the blessed card has come out. This is a period in which you truly are the master of your own destiny, which is why we have the uh, magician and we have the alchemist card. And we also have the puppet card here, which is probably representing you creating your own destiny as well. A time where anything you would love to truly have or achieve and create is possible. So <clears throat> this is really awesome. So part number three, you are the master of your own destiny. And you are going to have an opportunity to come back and co-create with this person, even though it feels like all hope might be lost right now. In the future, there'll be divine timing. So just listen to your intuition. And a year from now, you'll have all your dreams coming true. Okay. Part number four, what have we got? We have 51, which is about messages, deadlines, anticipation. So someone's waiting for somebody to communicate in anticipation. And then we have number six, which is about healing um, and being tranquil and at peace i go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in order so it looks like a bit of a difficult connection where the feminine energy was waiting for somebody we have higher power between worlds breathe soulmate unlikely helpful people if you believe jewel within a teardrop appreciation spiritual and emotional reconnection ocean of eternal love healing creativity fertility i wonder what will happen next painting the roses red covering up errors Time, pressure, in a rush. And the tarot cards are the Six of Pentacles, which is about equal give and take. The Ten of Swords, which is about a really painful situation. 
and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse as well, which is about longevity, long-term commitment. Then we have Please Forgive Me. I love you to the moon and back. You're perfect in my eyes. All right. Okay, what I'm getting from this is... Okay, someone's like made some mistakes in this type of connection with a soulmate. Um, they didn't appreciate their soulmate. And they did feel an ocean of eternal love for this person. But they were stuck in between worlds, the past and the present. And they, they weren't ready to create a new beginning. Um, so the feminine in this situation that they connected with was waiting for them to be ready. And during this process, it was very uh, tiring on her because they didn't really respect her and they did take a really long time. Um, <clears throat> and what I'm getting from this is there was a lot of pain and there was an equal give and take. And, um, and now it's like unlikely that this situation will come back together because of the way the masculine handled things he made a lot of mistakes and he he has realized that he needs to correct his ways because now he he's in pain um if he wants this ten of this ten of pentacles with his feminine he really needs her forgiveness and he's realized he loves her to the moon and back which is why we have the ten of swords because it's causing him pain and he wants her forgiveness, so he wants an equal exchange of give and take because in the past there wasn't an equal exchange of give and take. Um, there's helpful people around that are assisting. Um, this could be angels, spirit guides, or friends or mutual friends of yours. Um, and everyone's thinking, oh, yeah, this is unlikely to come back together. And people are a bit anxious over it, but a higher power is involved. So that's what I think is connecting with the helpful people. Um, so if you believe in magic and you wonder what will happen next, <clears throat> um, if you're ready for an adventure and you're, you know, believing that things can work, um, the universe is here to assist you. You have helpful people around. So not all hope is lost in this connection because it is a spiritual and emotional reconnection that's going to take place here and this person is your soulmate so you're destined to be together let's have a look at what this card means with the spiritual reconnection it says um you will soon experience a strong spiritual and emotional bond with another person a family member and an animal or pet during this time you will also reconnect with your inner most feelings and true nature which have been suppressed or ignored of late. This is a deeply emotional time where tears of sadness tra transform into tears of joy. Your appreciation of life, love, and friendships will strengthen as you give thanks for the many blessings in your life. Love is truly all around you. Embrace it and cherish it and honor it. You and those you love unite through a common bond and the love you feel for one another grows stronger and more profound. This is a special and magical time. Be sure to savor each and every moment. Love is all that really matters. So this is confirming that a higher power is going to assist you with along with helpful people if you believe in reun reuniting with some some significant person in your life, a soulmate, and you share an ocean of eternal love with them. And I'm getting that your connection is currently being healed by the divine. Um, <clears throat> so you just need to think positively and believe that this can come back together. That's what I'm getting because it says if you think it's unlikely... Yeah, then you're just going to delay the magic involved in this situation. Um, if you wonder what will happen, happen next a little bit too much and if you think it's unlikely. Now, the Ocean of Eternal Love card is about love conquering all. And it's especially true for you at the moment. Something is resolved and healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favorable. The timing is right. A new creation awaits you. The birth of something new brings you joy and excitement. The forever changing seasons of eternity. 
<coughs> um, excuse me, turn the invisible wheel <coughs> and a new cycle begins. Uh, sorry, I was just having a coughing fit. Um, so it says, what was previously barren will now become fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favourable. The timing is right and a newer creation awaits you. Okay, so to summarise this part of the reading, we have <clears throat> a higher power coming into your life, like divine timing, fate, destiny, the wheel of fortune. We have a clock here. You're wondering what will happen next because this person behaved in a pretty disgusting way in the past and they made some mistakes. But you have the ocean of eternal love here and this is a reunion that's coming into play because love conquers all the power of love. You've got to believe in love and destiny. There's no rush though. This will happen in the divine timing. Although you may think it's unlikely and you're in between worlds over it right now, higher power has supported you and you do have helpful people. So you just need to believe. And this person thinks you're perfect in their eyes. And they love you to the moon and back. And they want your forgiveness. So the universe is saying have faith. And if you believe, this can turn around. I feel like these both came up in reverse. Because you actually have the opportunity to go either way here. So if you think this is unlikely... You'll end up just staying here. But if you believe, you'll end up with this outcome. So the choice is yours. I wonder what will happen next. Believe. Manifest. Think positively that this can happen. And all your dreams will come true. This person thinks you're perfect in their eyes and they love you to the moon and back. And they just want your forgiveness. And they want the opportunity in the future to have an equal give and take with the six of pentacles and make it right so you could end up with everything that you desire if you believe okay hope that resonated